Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are UV unwrapping the rest of our gas pump, but before we begin, I just want to mention, uh, don't forget to turn on that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest videos and get notified whenever I upload new content. With that out of the way though, let's jump right into the second half of the UV unwrapping phase of our gas pump. All right, let's UV unwrap the rest of our gas pump. Open up your UV editing workspace, it's up here. And what I want to do is um, UV unwrap this object in the front. So this is our fuel gauge and it has a bunch of instances. So ideally what should happen is that we only need to UV unwrap one of them and the rest should be uh, unwrapped for us. Um, what I want to do is just isolate it and take a look. And you can see that it's a fairly planar object. So we can try the planar method for this. And for that um, projection method, we'll need to know which direction our axes are running. So um, my Z axis is running along the front of it and the X axis is running side to side. So let's go into face mode. And you can see as I hover over these faces, um, the instances are lighting up. So that's awesome. Um, also, they're doing a bit of construction outside just so you might be hearing some noises out there. So sorry about that. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is box select these faces and I'm going to go to UV planar and I'm going to choose the Z axis and I'm going to actually turn on keep image width height ratio. It'll try and keep this proportion, but something to keep in mind is it's not always the same as um, unfolding it later, which we'll be doing. So we really don't need to do this, but I just want to show you and we'll click apply. And now this shell is separated for us. Um, but sometimes, you know, like that is totally fine, right? Um, but because these faces are kind of curved, right? Or this front section um, will need to unfold, right? Okay, let's uh, grab the side faces. There we go. And then let's uh, change it to the X axis. And this time we'll choose project just to close this window as well. And now I'm gonna go into UV shell mode. And what I can do is select all these and I can open up this unfold tab and choose unfold. There we go, the shells are unfolded. And down here, maybe we'll just um, stack and orient these shells. There you go. So now we have our shells over here. I'm just gonna scale it down a bit and move it off um, over here somewhere. So now we have these shells. Let's go out of um, isolation view. I'm gonna go back into object mode. And now um, what I'm going to do is um, select this one. And you can see that it's UVs are over here, it's shells. And over here, if I select this one, this object has now been unwrapped as well. So each of these um, have their own um, uh, shells, right? That have been unwrapped. So that's awesome. However, they're sharing the same UV space. And for an object like this, especially, where they would have uh, different textures, right? Um, you want them to have their own individual space. And most of the time, you want your shells to have their own individual space. So first, what I wanna do is just select all of these and I'm going to unselect this one by holding down shift, right? I'm going to isolate this view, right? And now what I want to do is uh, select this one. Actually, we'll select all of them. So let's select all these objects. And what we're going to do is go up to the Modify tab, go down here to Convert. And down here, you have an option. And we'll convert our instances back to regular objects. Select that. And now if I select this object, and in this window, go to UV Shell, and move these shells over here. If I select this one, its shells are still over here. So that's awesome. Now they can have their own individual spaces when we lay it out. So um, I'm gonna actually select them all. Um, what I'm gonna do is um, in this window, I'm gonna go into UV shell mode, select them all. Um, did that work? No, let's select all these objects. So I'm gonna go into object mode, first to select all these objects. And then in this window, I'm gonna go into UV shell mode and select them all. There we go. And now what we want to do is maybe um, just spread these apart just to have a better look. However, sometimes if you do a stack and orient and an unstack shells, it doesn't really unstack them all properly because um, all these different objects, it, it's getting a little bit confused. However, we can do a layout. So I'm going to go up here to the modify tab. And then down here, we have a layout option. And we're really not just, we're not really laying out our UVs just yet, but I just want to show you. I'm going to first reset this just to make sure it's reset. And then what I wanna do is um, give it a bit of padding. So down here, I'm gonna give it 
uh, four pixels in the sh for the shell padding and four for the tile padding. Uh, for the rotate option, I'm going to leave it alone. Normally I would rotate it, but for an object like this, I don't want to do that. I'll explain in a second. And now I'm going to choose layout UVs. And you can see now uh, they've been laid out for us. And um, why I didn't want to rotate it is that I want them all to be facing upright. It's easier to add alphas later or texture it with by stamping on numbers. And if I go into edge mode here and select these edges at the top and hold down shift and select these one ones, you can see that um, they're all facing in the same direction. So one thing to note is that if they're not, it's, it's kind of good to rotate them so that they are to make your texturing um, process later much easier, right? There we go. And now what I'm going to do is just go into UV shell mode, grab these shells, and we're going to just move them out of the way for now and move on to the next piece. So there we go, just over here. Let's unisolate our view and let's go into object mode. This is done for us, so that's awesome. And now let's um, start UV unwrapping the other pieces. However, I want to fix a couple pieces from the last part that we did. So I'm going to select this one, isolate it. Over here, I'm just going to unstack these shells. So I'm going to go into UV shell mode. Um, by the way, I'm just holding down the right mouse button, but you can get to it from up here as well. I'm going to select all these shells and unstack them. And we have a couple small shells here. They belong to the top and the bottom and we can sew them to either the front or the back piece. So let's do that. I'm gonna go into edge mode, select this edge, hold down shift, select this one, and now let's do a move and sew. So hold down shift, right mouse button, move and sew, and there you go, that one's done. Let's go back to UV shell, shell mode. Um, let's do another unfold just to be safe, and then we'll do a stack and orient. All right, now let's unisolate that, and I wanna take a look at one more piece. Going into object mode, I'm gonna select this one and let's isolate this one as well. So this one has a couple faces that will never be seen. So let's get rid of those. So they actually belong to here, this one and this one. And over here, they belong to this shell. So I'm gonna go into UV shell mode, select that, move it off to the side. And if I go into edge mode for a second, you can see that this edge and this one aren't cut. However, if we delete that end face, it'll add that cut for us. So let's do that. Go into face mode. I'm holding down the right mouse button. Go to face mode. I'm gonna select this face, hold down shift, and select this one. So those are the faces, and let's delete those faces. There you go, and now we have new cuts. Perfect. Let's go into UV shell mode, and we'll grab all these and just do another stack and orient. Perfect. All right, let's unisolate our view, and now let's UV unwrap uh, this piece over here. So let's isolate it. This piece is very planar, so we could do the planar method, or we can try automatic to see if um, it will work out for us. So let's go to the UV tab, choose automatic, pressing F to frame in on it, and you can see that it's done a pretty good job. We just have um, some seams to sew up to, um, just uh, make it so that we don't have as many shells, right? And over in this window, can, first I'm gonna go into UV shell mode. In this window, I have this shell, I have this one, this one and this one, I can pretty make it, uh, I can make it one shell. I just need to separate this seam over here. So let's go into edge mode for a second. I'm gonna select this edge and in this window, let's cut that edge. So hold down shift, right mouse button, cut. And now let's sew up some of the other seams. So I'm gonna go into edge mode again. I'm gonna select this edge and this one. I'm gonna hold down shift, select this one, double click here. Oops, let's try that again. There we go. And I'm gonna select these ones. And I think that's all of them. So now let's do a move and sew. Shift, right mouse button, move and sew. And there you go. We have this shell here. Nice one big shell for us, and it's very clean. All right, now let's figure out what else we can combine. We also have um, this shell, this one, and this one. And they can be their own piece. We just need to sew up those seams at the top. So let's go into edge mode. Grab those edges, and in this window, let's do a move and sew. So hold down shift, right mouse button, move and sew, and there you go. And now the rest of them should be fine. Let's grab all these shells, and let's do a stack and orient, sure. And I'm just gonna move it out of the way, somewhere over here is fine. And now let's go out of isolation view, and let's work on uh, this piece over here. 
So this one here, let's use our 3D cut and sew tool. We'll go up to, um, first let's isolate it. We'll go up to UV and we'll do a projection. We'll do that camera based projection. And here's our projection based on what the camera is seeing in the viewport. And let's go into object mode. Let's grab our tool, which is under the UV tab, 3D cut and sew. And what I'm going to do is separate the top from the bottom. I'm going to double click this edge, separate here as well. I'm double clicking. And now I'm going to double click here, just separating these areas. And over here as well. And then we need to separate these side uh, pieces as well. So I'm going to click and drag here and click and drag there. Ooh, on. There we go. And then uh, for this top section, there's no really uh, good place to hide the seam. Uh, no real good place to hide the seam is what I was trying to say. Uh, but I'm just going to double click here and then probably hide it in the texturing. And usually um, modern texturing programs do a pretty good job of hiding seams anyhow, right? But I'm going to put that seam right there. All right, now let's press Q to go to our select tool. In this window, I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, go to UV shell, grab all of them. Let's do our unfold. And then we want to do a um, stack and orient and an unstack shells just to make sure that these are properly separated, which they are. Perfect. Um, let's grab all of them, scale it down, and move it off to the side somewhere. And now let's unisolate our view and let's grab this top piece. So this one here, I'm going to do the same method. So let's do our projection first. Here's camera based projection. Awesome, let's go into object mode. Here's the last tool we used. And now let's um, double click here, here, and that'll separate those sections. And down here, I wanna put a cut. I'm gonna just going to click and drag, and there we go. And now let's press Q to go to our select tool. And then in this window, let's go into UV shell mode, grab everything, and we'll do an unfold. And then we'll do a stack and orient and an unstack shells just to take a look at it. And this one, I'll just scale it down and just move it off um, up here somewhere. All right. Let's unisolate our, sorry, we weren't in isolation view. Let's um, go into object mode, grab this piece. This time I will isolate. And this one, we can pretty much do the same method. So yeah, sure, let's do the same method. So we'll go to uh, UV, camera-based projection, and let's go into object mode. We'll grab this tool again and we'll double click here and here, and then let's add a seam here and here as well, right? And now let's press Q, and then in this window, let's go into UV shell mode, grab everything, and let's do that unfold. We'll do a stack and orient, and then an unstack to make sure they look great. Let's just stack them up again, and scale it down, and move it here somewhere. Doesn't really matter, okay. Now let's go into object mode, unisolate our view, and now we have just the cabinet piece left. All right, let's select it and we'll use the same method. So the camera, uh, the 3D cut and sew tool is really awesome. Get to know it. Um, it'll make your UV up, uh, UV unwrapping pro uh, process really fast. So let's go to uh, first. Actually, let's isolate it. There we go. And now I'm going to go to UV, do a camera based projection. I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to select my tool. And now we just got to figure out where we'll put our cuts. So I'm going to se separate the top and bottom by double clicking there. I want this section to be its own uh, shell. And then I'm going to actually um, separate here as well so the side section can unfold. Now I want to start separating these side pieces. So I'm going to double click here and double click here. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side as well. Right. Here we go. And now let's separate the front display. So on the outside, let's double click there and make sure that everything's um, cut perfect. And then over here, I'm gonna double click this edge and this one, just so that I can have a front piece. And then on the inside, we'll need to uh, separate that as well. So um, because we have a couple big end gons there, double clicking won't really um, cut that entire loop. So we'll need to um, do a combination of clicking and dragging. Oops, 
I'm gonna undo that. By the way, I forgot to mention, um, in case you forgot it from the last part, if you uh, want to sew it up, just hold down control and drag to, um, sorry, control and click and drag to sew that back up, or control and double click and drag to sew it back up as well, the loop. However, I'm just gonna click and drag. Uh, clicking and dragging, double click here. There we go. Gonna double click this one, hopefully grab it. And then down here, clicking and dragging. There we go. And now we need to separate these side pieces. So I'm gonna click and drag here. There we go. And click and drag right here. There we go. And now that display should be separated. Let's separate this side section. So I'm gonna double click here. There we go. There, that should be separated for us. We'll need a cut right here though, so that that side piece can unwrap. And then in here, we essentially need to separate, let me try and find a good view for you guys. Um, these holes, so this section. So I'm gonna click and drag and try and keep my mouse cursor just on the outside so that I don't accidentally uh, cut the inside edges. There we go. And then on the inside, I'm gonna do the same thing, except this time I'm gonna try and keep on the inside. And those are cut for us now. And we'll need one cut right here so that it can separate. And now let's go into object mode and we pretty much have everything we need. So let's, um, in this window, first we need to press Q, right? But in this window, uh, go into UV shell mode and let's unfold these shells. Oops, um, let's select all the shells first. So UV shell mode, select all the shells, we'll unfold them. And now with this one, we'll do a stack and orient and an unstack shells just to make sure that they're all separated, which they are, and they all look great. So now let's unisolate our view. And what I wanna do is just go into object mode and just, um, one thing I should have done actually is let's select this piece and move these shells because you always want to move them out of the middle space um, so that to make sure that there's nothing left, right? So I'm just going to move these over here for a second. Now let's go back into object mode. And what I want to do is grab everything and make sure there's nothing left. So now everything is um, unwrapped for us, right? And what we'll want to do now is just um, um, go into UV shell mode, just grab them all. I'm just gonna scale them down a bit um, and make sure that they're all roughly where I can see them. And in the next part, we'll be um, laying out these UVs. I was gonna put it in this episode, but it's there's a lot to cover and I wanna cover a couple other things along with it. So um, we'll wrap up this tutorial and then in the next one, um, we'll cover the rest of it. So um, let's first save our scene though. File, increment and save, right? and we'll see everyone in the next part. See you then.